All right, hello, my name is Eric and I'm here to show you how to put up your uh, vertical three-dimensional signage here today. I mean, let me show you the tools that you're going to need. You're going to need masking tape, double-sided foam tape, depending on what kind of material you're putting on, whether it be concrete or drywall, uh, you can get a wide variety of these at Home Depot. You're going to need a tape measure, a level, you're obviously going to need your, your letters. Uh, now what we're going to do to start out with is you're going to cut your template similar to this. As you can see here, I left about a half inch to an inch of the bottom of the letters all the way across. And because of your little uh, logo up here, uh, I jogged it up here so that you could see where that is. You're going to make sure that it is centered within the wall that you're utilizing. And if you look on the bottom, use a, a flat line like the bottom of a letter and you're just going to make sure that it is level. Um, now, not all uh, walls are level. You might want to consider the, how level the ceiling is and the floor is and compensate for it a little bit just so your eye doesn't think that it's not level, even though that the level does say that it is accurate. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to put your template up here. You have that all ready to go. All right, so then you're going to take your double-sided foam tape and you're going to cut it into slits, kind of small small enough to go onto the back of the letters here as you can see but not show through so you're gonna put it like there there and here see that do not put it within the bottom inch because if so it'll stick to your template that you have there and it'll make it very difficult to take it off alright so from here it's very easy you're just going to peel off the back layer of your double sided foam tape. I do say that's easy but sometimes it's a little harder than it would seem. Um, you can either use a razor blade, you can use your fingernails. You just need to get that layer off there. Alright, All right, so then what you're going to do here is you're going to make sure, so we have the logo, we have V-E-R, so I got my R here. You're going to place it Line it up exactly on the bottom. Do not touch the top yet. You're just going to be placing it, line it up exactly on the bottom, and then you're going to press it into your wall. Okay? You're going to rub it a little bit. Now, the front may look a little scuffed here on the metal. Just so you know, there is a liner that's on each and every one of these. I suggest not taking it off until you're done. All right, so we got the R there. We're going to do one more letter just to show you. Again, we're going to take off the double sided tape which sometimes is easy, sometimes it's not. Uh, this whole process uh, should take you less than a half hour to put up your entire sign. Um, and uh, take your time on it because once you put these up, it will be kind of difficult to pull them off depending on your double-sided tape. This stuff right here is made to be able to put on even concrete and it'll hold. So once I put this on, it's on for good. All right, so we're gonna line the bottom of the E up here, just like that on your template. All right, then you're gonna push it in, rub it, push it against the wall. All right, like I was telling you, there's a liner on there. You're just gonna come here and carefully without scratching the metal on the top. You know, pull that off. Look at how nice and shiny that is. All right. All right, so you got your E and your R there. I don't think it's necessary to show you all the letters, um, but this will just go along with every single one. Once you're done, you'll take the tape off of your template, and that'll slide right out from underneath it. And those will be lined up. They will be straight, and they will be properly spaced. Uh, so once you get this up, there's going to be, sometimes you'll see a little bit of dust within the letters. You can use canned air or an X-Acto blade or even your fingers and rub it and it'll smooth right out. Those are just uh, dust particles from the cutter and uh, those come out right out. So thank you very much and I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks. Bye.